you know what i cannot stop thinking about that video forex and his friends when they stormed into that clinic and then they they were just saying even if you guys don't want to help us please tell us what to do like i cannot get the desperation in their voices from my head they were so desperate to save their friend and in honor of rex's life this is going to be a first aid video i hope you don't need it but in case you do please save this video so in the event you or your friend has been shot what do you do in case of a gunshot wound so remove your t-shirt remove the t-shirt so you have two t-shirts now right but just remove your t-shirt then using the t-shirt that what you should use in one of the t-shirts apply pressure on the wound so something like this apply pressure on the wound and then using the other t-shirt so this is what a regular t-shirt looks like using the arms just tie this t-shirt this t-shirt is applying pressure on the wound so tie it using the other t-shirt to just apply more pressure on the wound because gunshot wounds that are not in the upper body and they have not hit critical organs but people primarily die from loss of blood and if you saw that video of rex and his friends in the clinic there's just way too much blood and that's what kills people eventually so apply pressure on the wound tie and then if there's still more blood if they if there's still more bleeding that is soaking up the t-shirts that you have you can either add on to just get someone else uh, get another t-shirt add on to the t-shirts that you already have just keep applying more pressure in the event that the bleeding is still uncontrollable right and this is only as an emergency measure so in the event that you still have way too much bleeding and you've not gotten medical attention yet use the belt use the straps of your bag tie an emergency tonake what is a tonake let me get my belt so i have my belt and an emergency tonake is in the event only in the event of uncontrollable ble bleeding uncontrollable bleeding because it could result to something like a loss of limb you might cut off blood supply to their limb for way too long and they eventually lose a leg but you'd rather lose your limb than lose your life so but this is only in the case where medical attention is being delayed and the bleeding is still uncontrollable so use your belt tie the rule of the la of that <laughs> The rule of the thumb is between the wound and the heart. So tie anywhere between the wound and the heart. So if it's the leg, if it's the thigh, this is where you tie as tightly as you can. Tie somewhere here. So this is the situation you'll be having as you wait for medical emergency. Another thing I want us all to remember, Jamia Mosque will be hosting medical doctors. So if you, as soon as you get into the CPD, make a mental note of where Jamia Mosque is. So in case of anything, uh, something else I want us all to remember is if you or the person you're with drops down unconscious, you can't feel their breathing, you can't find a pulse, immediately start CPR. If, even the person that maybe has, has a gunshot wound and then they suddenly cannot feel their breathing or you've lost their pulse, start CPR immediately. Chest compressions, chest compressions, chest compressions. To the tune of staying alive, staying alive. Ah, 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 staying alive. So chest compressions, chest, as soon as you cannot feel breath, them breathing, you cannot find a pulse, please start chest compressions. Let us all remember that chest compressions, chest compressions. Anyway guys, I'm hoping for the best for all of us and good luck to us all next week as we go back into the streets.